just where does Germany now stand as we talk about having enough chips in Europe for the future? Germany understood, the whole European Union understood that it's important to have a say on the table. And sovereignty doesn't mean that you have to copy everything into Europe. That doesn't make any sense, but that you can put something on the table. That is what is very important for, for Europe and Germany. And the reason why we are in that program and why we are so attractive for the government from that perspective is because we are ahead of the curve. We have an advantage. We don't run after somebody and develop a technology for billions and billions and have the risk that it fails. But we have a technology that's developed in Europe. Science happened here, research happened here, and now we are at the edge of taking it from a research level to a mass production level. We are ahead of the game, and that's why it's very attractive what we do here. Daniel, there have been some areas of excellence from the Europeans, and this comes to chip architecture, making of chip machines, but it's been lacking when it comes to the actual chips themselves. The dominance has been found elsewhere, Taiwan, even the United States, catching up to Taiwan as well. Where is Europe when it comes to those sophisticated chips as we talk about AI now? Europe is very strong in, uh, in specific parts of the semiconductor value chain and contributes it's in its uh, sector. And um, as I said earlier, I don't think it makes sense to copy all the technology into one country. It is more a, a value chain that is distributed all over the world. And we are contributing in a specific sector. What we can do in Germany and Europe is on the design side. So uh, chip designs, fabulous design houses, this is what we can improve very easily without the high capex investments that big fabs need. On the other side, you see that companies like Intel are attracted by the European ecosystem and they start to build fabrication plants here in Europe as well. So I think we are catching up here. And again, I don't think it makes sense to copy everything into Europe that is a waste of, of resources. Yeah, Daniel, good morning to you. I mean, is, is Europe losing out perhaps on this uh, chip boom despite the players like ASML, Infineon, and ST Micro? Um, and at the same time, having then to enforce these tariffs, perhaps, uh, you know, something that might affect the sector negatively. Do you think that could be at play here? I'm not sure uh, if the German or European semiconductor industry is highly affected by, for example, um, AI or latest technology developments. We are sitting in our special um, technology niche for automotive high, po high um, power uh, converters, uh, inverters, and, and that uh, part is, let's say, independent from what happens in the two nanometer uh, race or, uh, or in the latest technology developments, which consume so much money. So I think in, in that sense, the, the European and German industry is, is um, independent from that very uh, heavy, financially heavy race.